Hmm. Her last menstrual period was September 9th, which means she's 18 weeks pregnant. You can easily feel that her uterus is smaller than expected. Get an ultrasound to confirm her pregnancy dates, and it needs to be done before she is 20 weeks to be accurate. Nurse, book her an appointment to get an ultrasound this week. Hello? She most probably has severe preeclampsia. Please give her 5 milligrams of magnesium sulfate IV diluted in a total of 30 milliliters of normal saline, followed by 5 milligrams magnesium sulfate intramuscular in each buttock, and arrange transfer to the hospital. No problem. You are welcome. Doctors, we have a patient who has just arrived after being transferred from the health center. She has severe postpartum bleeding, and she has a non-pneumatic anti-shock garment on. Should we take the garment off now? No. If you remove the garment prior to the patient receiving either blood or surgery, the patient can die very quickly from hemorrhagic shock. Please prepare the operating theater and make sure the lab is getting blood ready for transfusion of two units of O-negative whole blood. Call Dr. Sophia. How can you remember all this? Well, most of it was in the refresher course that USAID and URC gave us about six months ago. Uh, yes, I was also there, but I do not remember all these details. It has already been some time now. Ha! Huh. I do have another little friend that reminds me of all these things every day. A friend? Well, it is not really a person. It is inside my smartphone. Inside your phone? Yes, my phone rings three times a week, and when I pick it up, I hear a question related to the training. After I answer it, it tells me if I was right or wrong and gives me the right answer. You mean somebody calls you three times a week and asks you a question? No, oh, there are no phone calls. It's a free phone application that has all the pre-recorded questions and answers inside. No need for calls. That's amazing. What a pity it's only three times a week. My phone rings by itself three times per week, but I can get a question every day if I want. I only have to start the application by myself. It only takes one minute of my time every day, and I remember all my knowledge. It sounds really easy. Yes, it is easy to use, and it is challenging. I love to be constantly tested on what I know and remember, improving myself. The application gives me a starting level, and I can raise my level by answering questions correctly. At the beginning, you start at the level of hospital cleaner, and by answering questions correctly, you can become a nurse, a midwife, a doctor, all the way to Minister of Health. I'm already at the level of hospital deputy director. Excuse me, can I go home now? The application tells you your level? Yes, I not only know my level, I can compare it to the levels of the best colleagues in my facility or to the Facebook friends that have the highest scores. I can also see if all my colleagues and I at the health center are doing better than the staff of other similar health centers. Competition, I love it. But uh, being a doctor, you'd be embarrassing if everybody could see on their phones that I am just a hospital cleaner. They would not see it. They see only the three highest scores in the group and themselves. Amazing. Can I see how it works? Your question for today. What is the best rate to ventilate a newborn with apnea? The options are 55, 40, 25, or 10. You are right. A baby with apnea must be ventilated. After repositioning the airway, begin bag mask ventilation at 40 breaths per minute with just enough squeeze of the bag to see the chest wall rise. After I answer the question, I can see how well I am doing, either by myself or as part of my facility. I can see here how well I compare to my colleagues or my Facebook friends. I could even have these results posted on my Facebook page. Oh, it is a game. It is just like Candy's Grass, but with questions. Well, it does feel like a game, and it is challenging, but to me it's just an easy way to maintain my know-how. Can I play too? Well, yes, anybody can, but it's only fun if you're a health professional. Doctors, nurses, midwives. You can just download the application from the Android Play Store. Can I go now? 
Another thing that they did teach us at the USAID and URC training, and which you seem to have forgotten also, doctor, is that we should be kind to patients and think about their feelings. Live Saved is a mobile phone application. It has been designed by URC, Open Institute, and Stanford University as part of the USAID-funded Quality Health Services Program in Cambodia. The application is designed to keep health professionals up to date on their skills and training. It includes 1,000 different questions and training messages taken from the training sessions of the USAID Quality Health Services Program. Questions are pushed to the health professionals three times a week as reminders. In addition, the user can access one question per day on the other four days of the week. The app uses gamification techniques to maintain the interest of the users. Live Saved is designed using the innovative self-IVR technology developed by the Cambodian NGO Open Institute.